This is where the biopsychosocial model comes in. So, as you can see, there are three factors to examine. Biological, psychological and social. Let's start with the biological. We all differ in how we experience drug effects, how bad the side effects are and how we respond to when we stop cold turkey. Some people can, for example, stop using cigarettes after prolonged use, but most will experience withdrawal symptoms and craving. Genes and neurobiological factors explain some of these differences, but there are many other important factors. My own research focuses on identifying these factors. Next, let's look at social factors. These factors influence community environment, connectedness, accessibility to drugs and the likely acceptance of drug use. Important factors are, for example, social support or social pressure, family background and relationships. Other important social issues include income, job security and the effects of poverty. The third group is psychological factors. These are things like coping skills, attitudes and perceptions, which influence how likely you are to react to drug effects and decide to start or continue drug use. We know, for example, that people who are thrill seekers are much more likely to try drugs. People with poor social skills or mental health issues are likely to use drugs to try to overcome or cope with difficulties they experience in daily life. The biological, psychological and social factors interact and it's the combination of factors that results in a risk profile for an individual. All these factors work in both directions. They can reduce the risk of drug use as well as increase the risk that a person will get into trouble with drug use. However, there is no single factor so strong that it will make you addicted. Even if you are at increased risk, that doesn't mean that addiction is inevitable. It is sustained drug use and the brain's changes that result from it that lead to addiction. To summarize, addiction is a chronic disease. Using alcohol and other drugs doesn't always result in addiction. Addiction is characterized by compulsive drug use. A complex interaction of biological, psychological and social factors influences our chance to develop addiction.